Owning a piggery in the Philippines um, is a business we've done, business we've got to be experiencing, and I'll talk from our knowledge and experience. First thing I want to say is why did we do a piggery? Um, it was to help support my in-laws. Um, you have to understand that this is a local rate business. You're not going to get rich on a piggery, um, but the local rate salary at the time was about 6,000 pesos a month for somebody and I could see the piggery being viable um, as a small business so that my mother-in-law could stay at home um, and my father-in-law could help out so it's like a small business for everybody to be able to stay in the proximity of the house uh, because prior to that my mother-in-law was a seamstress and traveling in and out of Cebu City every day so it's a 12 hour day and doing this at the back of the garden um, seemed a lot more uh, interesting but also the family come from a farming background um, where you've seen the the pictures of where all the houses are in our little town um, that used to all be cornfields um, my wife's grandfather's house used to be the only house there a long time ago. The next decision you've got to make is where you're going to put the piggery. Pig smell, you can't get away from it. Um, you're going to have to have some sort of waste management. Um, they're also noisy a bit, not uh, with the squealing and everything else. So what we did is we put it on the roadside. If you've got neighbours, advise check it with them because they're very likely to tell you, no, we don't want a piggery. The first stage of construction is getting your footings in, setting up your steel rebars uh, to take your supports up. Um, this is what's happening here. We've gone to the perimeter of the road where we're actually going to build a wall up because the first thing you want to do, regardless of what you're doing in the Philippines, is secure your lot. Um, this will form the back of the um, pig pens as such. Now that the wall's been put up, and we've got our steel support beams we now add the uh, dig out the footings for the actual pens themselves and prep the inside of the building we have to take some trees and stuff out as you can see it's a fairly simple construction mix a hollow block then it's all rendered and smoothed off a bit of uh, water channel in the front a bit of drainage um, keep it simple keep it uncomplicated keep it cheap this initially was an experimentation, that's one of the reasons I don't invest heavily in any one project um, unless I know it works well, like the call centre, um, that had a lot of investment but at the same time it was recouping it on a regular basis. Um, the first issue we had is I remember being in the UK when my wife was saying uh, my parents are a bit tired of the piggery and I'm like well, what do you mean? They said well they're tired every day and I couldn't understand why. Um, but then it was just like, well, why are they tired? What, what's, you know, what's causing it? Because I, I can't see where all the time's being lost because at the time I was back in the UK for a couple of months. The problem actually was to do with water. Um, the pigs need a constant uh, feeding of water into the trough. So there's lots of buckets of water being manhandled a day. There was um, problems with the keeping them cool, we were hosing, well, we weren't being hosed down, they were being bucketed down. So as soon as we were aware of the problems, then we found a solution. This is why I say don't invest heavily in one thing at once because you may find that you need to invest in something else to make the things a lot smoother and uh, easier to operate. Here you can see that we put in some electric pumps. Now, electric pumps are expensive to run. So I would advise researching whether you can get some solar kits for them so that they're actually um, running off solar power. You don't need a battery backup because you're only doing it during the day. The other reason we need the pump, which I haven't mentioned yet, is we take deep water. Uh, basically there's a free water supply, but it's below ground so you have to pump it up to get to it. You'll find in the Philippines a lot of hand pumps where people manually pump it up. It's because they don't pay for water because it's free. It's in abundance. Um, but the problem is getting to it a lot of the time. And for running a piggery, a hand pump's no good. That's what I was saying. Everyone's getting tired. 
Um, there is city water available, but that's also a metered system, so I'm not sure how much that would cost to run. The most effective way would be to use a solar pump. Now that we've got a water system available via the electric pump, not only is it for waste management and washing all the crap away and keeping them cool, uh, we now introduced a water system where the pigs can uh, basically get themselves a drink of water when they feel like it. They just push their uh, mouths on these little valves and it gives them water automatically. Um, cuts down on wastage and risk of infection. Now with so much wastage coming out, um, you're going to need a septic tank. You can't really get away with it. Um, there's no easy way of dealing with it. Uh, my brother-in-law invested in this because uh, we'd invested in the actual piggery, seeing that we were helping the family out. So he invested in putting the septic tank there so that we've got waste collection. Um, not difficult to build. I know some people go, oh, but the concrete's porous and all this sort of stuff. It's how it's done, you know, it was, it was sealed up internally, um, but speak to your builders about it, um, but this is a common structure and it will save you a lot of headaches because the waste management is a nightmare if you don't actually have a way of disposing of it. And here's the real questions, is it profitable? Uh, we didn't lose any money, we made some money on it, we recovered all our investment but for the time management, it wasn't really viable for us. Um, there's a few issues that you'll come across. First thing is the pig breeds. A lot of the pigs in the area aren't fantastic. Um, the quality is mixed. You'll get pigs that eat like horses and don't gain weight. You'll get other pigs that, um, they're just, you know, it's not quality breeds. If you can get quality breeds, then you may be able to tap into a much better market but I would say with the rise of organics and stuff in the Philippines because it's becoming more and more developed there's going to be a, a market for good quality meat in the future I know from our experience butchers prefer our product because there's less fat on it because a lot of the local guys will put crap in the food just to bring the weight up because it's not sold on quality it's sold on weight so if it's full of fat it doesn't really matter to the farmer or the market because that's people just buy and sell on weight um what to watch for vet fees they make it up as they go along uh, they're overpriced and a lot of stuff you don't actually need animal fees price heights are very common uh, which is what can affect your profit margin severely uh, personally I recommend breeding and keeping pigs for your own usage.